Hello, my friends. Now, welcome to a series of classes in trigonometry. Now, anytime I take trigonometry, I do advise students to sit down and be focused. It's a very simple topic, but when mismanaged, can become complicated. Do you understand? So, we want to talk about uh, trigonometry. I'll take it bit by bit. I'll break it into parts. We want to take them one after the other. Now, trigonometry. Now, if we are going to discuss trigonometry, we're going to break it into some nice outline. What are the things that we are supposed to expect? Number one, we'll give what is the introduction of trigonometry, and we are going to give the different parts of trigonometry. Those different parts are up to 10. Are you with me? Part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5. Or I will call them case 1, case 2, and case 3. Hold on a bit. As far as 100 level is concerned, right, for both first and second semester, your complete series of classes, including your practicals, everything from beginning to the end is in the Learn Lift app. All you have to do is just match down to your Play Store or App Store and download the Learn Lift app. And then you are going to have access to every singular class. So just move down to tertiary. Click on tertiary plan where you are going to see all your classes as far as your 100 level is concerned. And guess what? Your video lessons are there. Your CBT is there. You have access to your past questions. You have access to your notes. Very, very important. Then this semester, you must do well. Anyway, let's proceed quickly as we match that to our class and continue our class. Enjoy. So quickly, let us define trigonometry. What is the definition of trigonometry? I can stand by telling you that trigonometry is the branch of mathematics that this with the relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle and the calculation on them. Full word. We'll talk about the relationship between sides and two angles of a triangle. And the relationship between them. How is that gotten? The word, look at the word trigonometry. Tri. Go, you know, metry is gotten from two words here. The first word is try, try means three, and the word metry talk about lines. So, in trigonometry, we are based with a three sided shape figure. So, when we draw the three-sided shape figure, let's say this is a three-sided shape figure, let's call this, uh, let's call this our A, let's call this B, and let's call this C. The branch of mathematics that this would the relationship between the sides, you can see the side A, B, and C, and each side is going to have an angle. This with the side, an angle of a triangle. And what is the calculation about them is what called trigonometry. It is the branch of mathematics that this would relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle and their calculation. The word try means three, and the word metric talk about what line. So we are focused on a three-sided shape figure. So we have label A, B, and C. The first thing here to observe is that take note that the longest side B is called the hypotenuse. What I call it, the hypotenuse. Now, if there's a longer side there, now you can see that let's call this an angle, let's call this theta. The side where the theta is facing, C there is called the opposite. So anywhere this angle is facing is called the word opposite. Are you seeing that? So anytime you get the hypotenuse, you get the opposite. Of course, the last one there will not be your word A. And A will be called your word adjacent. So these are the sides of the angle. Number one, the longest side, which is B, which we call the word hypotenuse. The side in which, if this is the angle is facing, is called the word opposite. So if the angle is here, here will be the opposite. Are you with me? So the angle is facing, this is the inclined angle, theta, is facing C. So it is the opposite. And this is A. Do you understand? So, for the last time, was um, trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that this relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle and their calculation about them. Do you understand? Now, if you say you understand that, what are now the basic trigonometric functions? 
There are six basic trigonometric functions. Number one, we have what to call your sine. Number two, we have what to call your cosine. Number three, we have what to call your what? Your tangent. We have what to call your cos, your second. You call it sec. So it's called your second. Number five, we have what to call your cosecant, which is called your cosec. And number six, you have what to call your what? Your cotangent. So what are these six trigonometric functions? Sine, your cosine, your tangent, your second, your cosecant, and your cotangent. So the last time, sine, cosine, tangent, uh, second, cosecant, and your what? Cotangent. Now, a constant pass question, they will always ask you, what are their periodic functions? What is the periodic function of sine? What is the periodic function of cosine? Tangent, this is my bad code. The periodic function of sine is 360 or 2 radian. Now, 1 radian is 180. So, 360 degree, or you say what, 2 radian. What of cosine? Cosine 2 is 360 degree or 2 radian. Aft is only sine and cosine that is 360 or 2 radian. The rest are all radian. That's 180. Tangent is radian, that's 180 second, is radian 180 cosecant, is radian 180 cotangent, is radian. So if they are screen the exam, take note that only these two are said to have a periodic function of two radian. That's not pi, that's radian. So what is the periodic function for sine? Two radian. Two radian is the same thing because one radian is 180. So two times 180 will give what? 360. Because one radian is equal to what 180 is. Do you understand that? So, sine to, to the 360, cosine 360, tangent 180, and so on and so forth. Do you understand that? Now that you have understand, so quickly now, let's now take one past question. So let's take this past question. The past question says that the periodic function of sine and cosine is two radian. The question now is, what is now the periodic function for tan? Now, we know that we said that sine theta is as a periodic function of 2 radian or 360 degree. While your cos theta has your periodic function of 2 radian or 360 degree. Why your, all of them, so what would be tan theta? Tan theta will be what radian or what one is do you understand so the question to this answer the, the answer to this question is your tan theta is equal to what radian or what one is do you understand that i'll see you in the next class we will be taking your odd and your even word function hope you've enjoyed this class guess what to follow up for more classes just download the learn lift app whether on play store or app store and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.